Hey, Matt, we're muted. You gotta do the theme song again. I can't do the song. Oh. Well, uh, hey, we were muted before. Sorry we didn't catch that sooner. Uh, you missed a sweet song by uh, Zach here. All right. Uh, so we got Luke on Teamer and Dustin on Black White Vampires. Uh, what we were saying before, uh, what we th we think, we're theorizing Dustin's deck is just a spinoff of the Mono White Vampires deck that did well at the Pro Tour. Yeah. Oh, God, probably his best start right here. Yeah, Legion's Landing is pretty good turn one play. And like I said, he's probably playing a Danto's Vanguard. I have no idea what that is. It is a 1-1 one, one that whenever it attacks, it costs one white and a colorless. Whenever it attacks, it gets plus two, plus zero until the end of turn. And you can pay four life and make it indestructible. Oh, yeah, that card. That card's nuts and limited. All right. So, swing one. 21 to 19. Two point life swing. Oh, right. Man. And like I said, like this sort of matchup definitely favors probably the deck with uh, <laughs> uh, Whirler, Whirler Virtuoso. I, I mean, I, that's a pretty good card against I these I see Gideon of the Trials in Dustin's hand. Uh, I saw Gideon of the Trials, too. I'm glad I wasn't the only one. All right. I is mean, that a gifted Aetherborn, too? Yeah. All right. So maybe black is his mainstay color. Or maybe it's a very hard splash. A very hard splash, like a turn two, <laughs> double black splash. That's not yeah. a, that's no longer a splash. That's that's commitment. That's a splish. It's like a it's like two rivers coursing through your veins. All right, calm down, Mulan. All right, so Dustin here stuck on two lands. Yeah. Uh, and stuck with a double black card in his hand. He has another Legion's Landing. Yeah, maybe uh, a little bit of a seems good. A little bit of a misstep right here too. If I'm Dustin, I want to like at least give off the appearance that I'm playing Fatal Push, or that I would have Fatal Push in my hand. Oh yeah, most definitely. So, even if even if you don't, even if you most likely would have taken out that long test cub, at least make your opponent think about it. Like, does he have Fatal Push? Yeah. Does he? Now, if I'm Luke, I'm just gonna play like a Rogue Refiner or something. Swing yeah, with my. Like... Swing with Pump my cub. My cub. Kill your dudes. Gate GG. Yeah. You've, you've figured out teamer energy. And one fell swoop. Good job, Robert. It's not my first. I played the deck once. I know. I remember. I almost you did it. I, I Didn't I almost win on a mold of four? No. I don't know about almost win, but you did something on a mold of four. All right. So Luke's going to play this uh, World of Virtual oh, okay. so. All right, we're done here. <laughs> like I said, this card is extremely good against token-based strategies. Um, he's going to get that three energy. If I'm Luke, I'm going to swing in. There you go. Most definitely. That cub knows what to do. It's called attack. And Dustin, not wanting Luke to get any extra energy, decides to chump block one of his tokens. Yeah, I'm... Smart. Thankfully, he didn't double chump block to try and bait it out. Yeah. I mean... Looks like he's got, like, Ixalan's Binding in his hand. He's got some... Expensive cards. Yeah. I don't think that's Gideon of the... Is that Gideon of the Trials? Is that, like, the San Diego Planeswalker version? San Diego Comic-Con? I don't know. I uh, can't tell. It looks like it was the zombie version. Is that is that the one that has the zombie version? Or no, that's Gideon uh, Allies in a car. Excuse yeah. me. Our Hopefully he doesn't get, like, a the Arch Emni... Nick Bullis Arch Enemy and like think getting draw is legal and standard. Mm. That might be a problem. I won't say anything if you won't. I'll, I just won't. Let, I'll just let him play it out. Yeah, man. I think he needs all <laughs> the help he can get. Yeah, he's he's clearly behind on lands. If he gets up to five man slams Gideon <laughs> I'll let him have it. Yeah, like he you earned it, buddy. You got it. Yeah. Although you, I don't <laughs> I mean Luke might not know too. <laughs> that might be a good card. Uh, I mean, I think getting draw could probably be good. It's probably pretty good in standard. I mean, it's good enough for mo modern play. Yeah. Let's see if we can get uh, Luke to switch out that yellow die for one of those big black die. So I yeah. can, so we can see that a little bit better. Looks like he's going to chump the... Uh, long Tusk Cub. Yeah, chump the Long Tusk Cub here. There we go. Thank you, Luke. Thank you. All right. So again, unless Dustin draws a land here, and even if he does... It would I have think to be. this game's over. Yeah, oh. I mean, this is this is 
This is team energy in a nutshell. Puts you behind. Yeah, <laughs> you're worried about a long tusk cub, and then they play a, like a, 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 bri a, bri a bristling hydra, and then a, into a glory bringer, and then you're just dead regardless. So it doesn't so, really matter. I don't think that's a Gideon. The trial's in his hand. No. It may be the planeswalker deck Gideon. Yeah, it might be the six drop. Was it a six drop one? I don't know. Yeah. Hey, it's legal and standard. It is. Can't tell me otherwise. You don't know me. Let's see here. Servant of the Conduit. Free combat. Gonna pump up this uh, Long Tusk Cub. Yeah, so the most efficient way Luke can use his energy to kill Dustin Fast is pump Long Tusk Cub, right? Yeah, but putting our eggs in one basket like that kind of... I don't know. Kind of puts you uh, behind. If, if he, he loses it. It, it. Well, yeah, if he, like, say, does something like... It looks like he has, like, multiple Ixalan bindings in his hand. Now, it may not matter anyways. All right, so he's just going to put Pump. two counters on it. I, I can agree with that play. Yeah, then he leaves um, uh, leaves his Bristling Hydra. All right. We can get some counters on that long test cub. It's not yeah. until end of turn, Luke. Uh, right. We'll live with the yellow dice. Oh, well. Oh, uh, well. No, we, we can't do anything about it. <coughs> now, he does have... Another long test cub. Well, he has another long test cub. Looks like he has a Harness Lightning and a Glory Bringer in his hand. I don't think he's he's going to need to cast either one of those. Uh, I would be in agreement with you, too. Because he just says lethal on board, right? <coughs> I mean, if he plays Gifted Aether, if he would have played the Gifted Aetherborn right here, would he have had lethal four, six, eight? Well, he had Harness Lightning in hand. Yeah, you said without playing either of those two. Oh, I thought you meant the, the Harness Lightning and the Glory Bringer. Yeah, like, I don't think he need. I'm saying he doesn't need to play any of those. Yeah, but if Dustin had played Gifted Aetherborn... Oh, yeah, then he would have to play Ornus Lightning. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's not just like an end-all, be-all. See what I'm saying here? I think he made a slam Glory Bring here just a slam Glory Bringer. Um, would you do the rub-ins? It's mean, me. Who do you th What do you yeah, think? Yeah, I mean, who knows what Dustin has? He could have. He could exile Seamus Spear Guide and sell a little wreckage here. Mm. Yeah, he could. <laughs> but he didn't. <laughs> All right, and we're off to game two. All right, that was a blazing fast game by Teamer Energy here. Yeah, and like I said, that's what it does. When decks stumble, it produces threats that grow out of control. Yep. Doesn't interact. No, just beats face. Just beats the face in. All right. What do you think Dustin has in his sideboard? Bonchu's Last Reckoning. I, d I don't know if I'm serious about that. Uh, uh, probably uh, might have Solemnity. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of Solemnity against Team Rare Energy. By the time you play it on turn three, they usually have some number of energy, and they usually have some number, of, some amount of interaction with it. And then they'll just keep producing threats like Glorybringer. Yeah, I mean, I like it on the play more than draw, honestly. Like, yeah, if we're talking about Solemnity as a card against energy, because if they just go Long Test Cup without a tune, it's fine. You know right. what I mean? Yeah, I would agree with that. Like it, it, yeah, it's definitely better on the play versus the draw. I feel like uh, on the draw, it's a little bit too slow. You like you'd rather be playing something that interacts with your opponent, especially teamer energy where they produce threat after threat, and each threat is a legitimate thing. Oh yeah, like the only card I don't really find that much threatened by teamer energy is servant. Yeah. I would agree with that. I mean, but I've lost. I've seen people lose serving the conduit, so I really can't say that. Yeah. All right. So if I'm Luke, I'm just bringing in probably. If I'm like thinking about Solemnity, I'm probably gonna bring in either to like some Slice in Twain or Appetite for the Unnatural, whichever he has in his board. Um, other than that, you know, I'm not really. I'm not, I, don't know. I think yeah. you're just kind of main decked against this yeah. deck. I mean, like I don't like. He, I feel like you just shuffle 15, your sideboard in, take out your sideboard, and present your deck. I mean, Team Energy is kind of just that type of deck where you can, you know, customize however you would prefer. Doesn't I think really my f fu the, f the funniest story I heard about people sideboarding is my one friend who used to have Belcher and Legacy. His sideboard was 15 islands. Mm -hmm. So, like, during games two and three, you just, like, si shuffle the entire sideboard out, take out the 15 islands. Do you ever leave an island in? No. 
Why wouldn't you sideboard stuff like Xanted Swarm and whatnot? I'm not saying this was a good idea. Okay? Uh, yeah, it was clearly not. He, like, I, I feel like Belcher would has like Duress and Xanted Swarm and Belcher's red green. Yeah, they they still play would play stuff like Duress. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. They just lose pedal it, right? Yeah, like Duress, Xanted Swarm, um, Guttural Response. I've seen. All that type of I stuff. I think, I think, if I would have gotten lazy right now, I might play like four color loam or whatever. Hmm. Four color loam, like the punch and Abzan deck or whatever. Is that what you said you would play in Legacy right now? I might. Or uh, I can or try and play the nimble mongoose. But oh, uh, Canadian <laughs> threshold or whatever. Oh, you know, you're talking about Rug Delver. Yeah, that deck my, sucks right my now. My old baby. I used to play that deck all the time. Back what happened it to good. it? It's not good anymore. Every deck is a death right deck. I'll tell you what I would play. I'll tell the folks out there in the internet land that uh, I'll be coming out with a deck primer this week all right. on Nick Fit. All right, so so perfect here's deck for this type of meta game. Here's how you build Nick Fit, okay? You get your four veteran explorers. Yep. Uh, your four demonic intense, whatever. No, four cabal therapy. Hey, right, four cabal therapies. Yep. Um, the one tutor card, right? What one tutor? Diabolic intent. No, like the one demonic tutor, but the additional cost of sacrifice. I play a different version with birthing pod. All right. Are you listening? All right. Okay. So basically, you just play a bunch of namesake cards like veteran. You just play four veteran explorers, okay, and some sort of sack outlet. Yeah. Well, the sack outlet is always cabal therapy. Yeah. Like. Four Cabal Therapies and... And sometimes they play like a doll, Diabol... Like... Oh, what is that? Diabolic Edict makes... is like a black and a colorless makes them sac... Or makes the target player sacrifice. Um, one is... One black sorcery. Each Innocent player... Blood. Innocent Blood. There you go. Each player sacrifice. Man, I know my cards. You did it! Yay! Uh, but, but... So you get a bunch of those and like you go to your Balker box and look at all these like six, five, seven, eight mana cards... You want to play in a certain amount of colors, you just play them. Is there an issue with that? It sounds like a fun. It sounds like a fun time to me. I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm just saying that's how you play Nick Fit. Am I wrong? Yes. There is some amount of thinking to this deck. <laughs> <laughs> I remember uh, my death and taxes friend. He played against Nick Fit, and he played. He, he played a track that he um uptick his Aether Vial for him. Hmm. <laughs> He was like, oh, I can't win now. Yeah. Gross. <laughs> All right. What's that? Looks like Luke brought it in the gate. Uh, okay. I mean, he might be expecting sweepers. I mean, beyond sweepers, maybe he's just expecting, like, Big Gideon. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> maybe he's expecting uh, Soren Grim Nemesis. Ooh. Ooh. If that was still in standard, that'd be Lord sweet. of Inishrod. Solemn Visitor. All right. Now you're just now you're just naming things. Hey man, I miss my Soren Solemn Visitor. Yeah. You know what I miss? What? Primeval Titan and Standard. I know I'm disgusting. You guys can all let me know. Anyways, back to this game. Yep. Dustin's gonna start off with the same same play he did last time. Cinematic's got a second one. Oh and man! Gift of oh Aetherborn. man! There it is. We got this, boy. All right. Dustin's in this game. Too hot to trot. All right. Mm, I can't really see Luke's hand. I can't either. Especially since it's foil, it's a little bit even harder to, you know. Yeah, I mean, he has a Rebecca Gaylands and Aether Hub. <laughs> yeah, I mean. I like the Rebecca Gaylands, do you? Rebecca Gway. It's actually Rebecca Gay. She said it herself. Did she? Yeah. Uh, she's still getting called Gway. No, I don't care. There's a Y there. Anyways, just because you don't know how to pronounce your own name. <laughs> All right. So right. Luke passes. Looks like he has a harness light in his hand, but he's a little unsure of using that, just because it'll use up all of his energy, and then he will not have that. Oh, color. is that oh. the? Uh, oh, whenever a vampire attacks, create a one-one. Yes. Uh, so. Was it Marin? Yeah, Ma uh, it's Whenever a non-token vampire. Yeah, yeah. I forgot that part. So he's yeah. gonna. Well, that's fine because now I he's got. He's got a har Marin here. Oh yeah, you absolutely kill that. Yep, kill the Marin. I don't know if it. I don't know if it's Marin or not. I can't remember what its name is. Yes, yeah, Marin. 
Yeah. It might be Mar- not be. He's he's Marin now. How about that? Yeah. He's marrying me. <laughs> Get out of here, Joseph. Uh, shouldn't is he a two three or X two? He's an X two. He's a two two. Okay. Okay. Maverin. Maverin Fane. Dusk Apostle. Okay, he's still Marin to us. There you go. Yeah. So there's Marin. <laughs> All right. Looks like Dustin's playing uh, Unclaimed Territory. Modern All-Star Unclaimed Territory. I'm very surprised by that, honestly. What, the humans deck? Yeah. Yeah, well. Well, it's because judges... It's like because the decks that play sweepers aren't popular in. Aren't well, yeah. Di- yeah, that's always the case. And there's not a lot of sweepers in standard other than Fumigate. So oh, be, oh, this is... It's a Sky March Blood Letter. Limited All-Star Sky March Blood Letter. I don't know what it does. Explain to me. It's a 2-2 two, two flyer for two and a colorless. When it enters the battlefield, your opponent loses one life, and you gain a life. All right. And it is a 2-2 two, two flyer. <laughs> I, I like Luke negating this uh, Legion's Landon. Um, he's got a Bristling Hydra as a follow-up in his hand. So if he can get that fourth land, it's very good. Yeah, not really, because there's a Gifted Aetherborn on the other side of the battlefield, though. He has two Hydras, I think, so... He can just slog through them. <laughs> yeah, you just got to trade one and play another. Oh, here, here comes a Hydra. All right. Looks like he's got... So beyond the Hydra, I see a Whirl of Virtuoso. It looks like he's got a Glory Bringer. All right. I mean, he can't cast... He can He can now cast a Virtuoso. Yeah. And he drops one more land, he can cast that Glory Bringer. Yeah. As long as it's not a fast land. Well, now it's going to be, because you said that. Yeah, man, shut up. Mm. Okay, what's going oh, on? Oh, oh, Hellrider. Yeah. Okay, yep. Hellrider. Right. This game just got real. Actual it's... real? Yeah, it got legitimately real. Oh, yeah. Drain ya. Oh, so. Oh. Let's throw, uh, let's throw Sanctum Seeker up there on the... Uh... On the old boob tube for the uh, audience. Yeah, that's not a common one played. I mean, if you can go Glory Bringer next turn, you can just, like, kill the Sanctum Seeker, right? If you draw land, an untapped land. I mean, he does have another Harness Lighten. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, he doesn't. He has a Glory Bringer, World of Virtuoso, and then he has a Hydra. Oh, it just looks like a Harness Lighten to me. I'm there you sorry. go. Sanctum Seeker. Whenever a vampire you control attacks, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. All right. All right. So, in comparison to Hellrider, obviously, one more toughness. Does not have haste, and it's only vampires. But you gain life. That's Seems where held by Hellrider, they would only lose life. All right, we got the third Hydra. Mm. Bueno. Uh, so, I think you are you have to play the Versoroso here, maybe? I think Luke's just going to die slowly here, if I'm being honest. Oh. Well. Uh, I don't know if he legitimately has to play the Virtuoso, but he has to play something. Looks like he drew another Hydra. I would just throw down another Hydra. Yeah, what's better than one Hydra? Six Hydras. Yeah, you're not wrong. But any number between is not very good. Like two through five. But you can't play six copies of the card. Uh, No, but you can play Vizier of Many Faces. Oh. There it is. Broke it. Everyone go home. Start building six Hydra. New standard deck by Zach Pro Tour competitor Zach West. Yep. You, you're fine. I've been, <laughs> I've been hiding it. I didn't even want to use it on the Pro Tour. That's how much I. That's how much I believe in this deck. I was like, no, it's too good. <laughs> six Hydras. Six Hydras. Oh yeah, and then there's the mirror gallery or whatever that can become a copy of a creature until you know we can just play twelve Hydras if we really wanted to. Call it twelve instead of twelve posts. It's twelve Hydra. <laughs> Ooh, how about we just call it Hail Hydra? <laughs> All right, and like for the deck name, we just put the Hydra symbol from Captain America. Yes, which is basically just an octopus with machine guns with with heads. All right, well, uh, Luke, that was an aggressive attack. <laughs> it was. I was I was not a fan of that attack. So Luke's so, going to five. Yeah, Luke Luke's dead. Luke's going to have to scoop him up, and we're going to go to game three. Apparently, I did not know this, Sanctum Seeker will win you the game if you have enough vampires, though. I did not. I just now realized that. You, 
You, d you just now realize that, Zach. I just now realize that. <sighs> All right, so you take... You take five, and you are dead, Luke. GG's. All right. And we, nope. learned, we learned our lesson here. Save the removal spell for Sanctum Seeker. Well, we didn't see that game one. Mm, you're Dude, right. In Luke's defense. To be fair, you are technically correct. And... The best kind of correct. Uh, I don't know. The gates are iffy as well. Yeah, I, I think if I'm Luke, I, now now I'm thinking to myself, do I want these in the gates? I just would rather have all the spot removal I can muster. Like, between Magma Spray, a Braid, and Harness Lightning, that's what I want. Same. And then I also want... Oh. Uh, Bantu's Last Reckoning? No, why not Bantu's Last Reckoning? In your team or energy deck? Why not? I want Confiscation's Coup. Because I want to take my own Sanctum Seeker. All right, that's fair. I'll take it from my own. E even though you have no vampires, you just mean me. Doesn't matter. You got one Sanctum Seeker. <coughs> All right. <sighs> All right. All right. As <coughs> woo, I'm losing my voice. Yeah. Yeah. Um. As we go on. Wow, we are cyborging. Uh, we just want to thank you for taking your time for tuning in to the Standard Showdown here at GameSwap Mason. Um, yeah, we just want to thank you for that. Uh, if you want to help us out, remember, you can go to our Patreon. Greatly appreciate it. We can get better commentators because we suck. And well, yeah, I, I mean, yeah. Yeah. Or at least better looking ones. Yeah, I think we can go with better looking ones at least. Uh, well, or at least let's get enough money for cardboard cutouts of Ryan Reynolds. Uh, just two Ryan Reynolds. And yeah, then we'll put them right here so that, like when like when we eventually get a camera so you can see the commentators, they just see Ryan Reynolds. And like there's no voice at all. It's just like a cardboard cutout of two Ryan Reynolds. Yeah. I yeah. think that would really boost top deck productions. I agree. Alright. Now, so I think what happened here with Luke, though, he just misidentified what kind of deck Dustin was flying. Yeah, I, th I believe so, too. I think the negates are a little ambitious. I mean, all he saw was Legion's Landing. That's it. Yeah. That's all he's seen. He has not seen any removal. He hasn't seen any board wipes. He hasn't seen any... He didn't see any creatures, I feel like. He, on well, he only saw creatures. That's all he saw. Not now, in game one. Yeah. Oh, well, he saw... Yeah, I guess he did just see Legion Landing. Yeah, which could uh, which could indicate that it was a uh, token deck, yeah, as opposed to uh, as opposed to vampire. Yeah, so like I don't blame at all for bringing in the gates. Honestly. No, 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 I don't either. Lesson learned, though. Yeah. After that, uh, sanctum seeker, sanctum seeker beak down. Hoo wee. Yeah. And if I'm Dustin, I I still haven't seen any spot removal in his deck. I saw walk to plank in his hand game one. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh. Well, that is something. Still double black. Hey, man. It worked out fine for him game two. Yeah? Yeah. Didn't play it, but, I mean... He, he didn't need it game two. He did not. Sanctum Seeker just gave him the victory by itself. The funny thing was, the uh, Maverin kind of set up the Sanctum Seeker, eating that removal spell. Yeah. And then just coming down and... Whew. Ooh, we... Hmm. All right. All right. So we should be starting here shortly. And we got... Luke is on the play. Yep. Clearly favors him. Turn to Long Tusk Cub is still hard for a black-white vampire deck to deal with, especially if it's preceded by an attune with Aether or, um, you know, the turn after he plays a... Rogue Refiner, you know, something like that. Rogue Refiner is like probably my favorite card in these energy decks. I do like Rogue. I mean, it's the deck. It kind of gives. It kind of gives the deck. I don't know. I won't say reach, but it allows you to draw later in the game. I, I enjoy Rogue Refiner a lot. I mean, if facilitates your game plan of getting energy. Mm -hmm. Three two body can end, can be a clock on its own. Yep, and draws you a card. And crews a, uh, a large flagship. Oh, yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yep. I forgot all about that, honestly. All right. 
here so. we are. If you haven't, if anyone in chat has yet to get this, I've been. Well, I'm back here. I'm playing the Animal Crossing Pocket Camp game. I don't know if you have it, but it's very addictive. Yeah. Zach so over here is not a fan. I I didn't play Animal Crossing when I was a child. I I played Monster Rancher, like a man. Oh, I love Monster Rancher. All right. Luke gonna start off with a rebound, Craig. Dustin gonna start off with a concealed courtyard. Nope, just a oh, swamp. Oh. Ooh, Ooh, vicious conquistador. Conquistador. That is, every time it attacks the opponent, target opponent loses a, one life or something like that. Loses one life, yes. How well can it do in front of a long tusk cub? Uh, I would play this. Uh, I'd play a servant before I'd play a long tusk cub. All right. You know the deck better than I do. Uh, you just want to establish, like, make sure that your mana is established more so than anything else. Also, your servant's more likely to eat up a removal spell first, and Long Tusk Cub being your legitimate threat makes more sense. So Dang. Dustin, not looks like he's just like both colors. He's not really one pro like before the other. Yeah, I can see that. So like that's why his mana is kind of constrained. And we saw that game one. He has like double. He has like a turn one white card and Legion Landing, and a turn one black card and Vicious Conquistor, and then turn two double black cards in. Gifted Aetherborn. All right. I think that's a little too constrained on the mana. I mean, especially the only dual lands is for Concealed Courtyard. Yeah. I mean, he does have... Uh, actually, he has, like, eight dual lands because of the Unclaimed Territory. Yeah, I guess he has I guess he has that. But the Unclaimed Territory does not help with um, Legion's Land at all. Yeah. It looks like he traded off his Vicious Conquistador for nothing. He just... Let it die. Nah, he won Luke to lose a life. Doesn't I mean <laughs> he's got a Sanctum Seeker in his hand. I think you saved that. I'm not saying it's a good idea. Yeah. I'm not saying that's what he did. And if I'm Luke, I'm I'm ready and willing to bash in there. How willing are you? Very. Can't even begin to tell you. Although, looks like he's got a rogue refine. I think I play that first, get some energy, and then bash in there. All right. You're at two. You'll go up to three. Yeah. Play that rogue refiner. Hopefully, draw land. Hopefully, draw land. I mean, I mean that's kind of that's, that's team energy in a nutshell. Hopefully, draw land. I mean, he already played land for turn, didn't he? He did, but he doesn't have any more lands in his hand. Looks like he did. He draw a confiscation kill. Uh, that might be awkward right now. I think he did. I think he drew a confiscation coup. And guess what? There's a, there's a Sanctum Seeker in Dustin's hand. Oh, baby! And guess what? He's going to take that Sanctum Seeker. And guess what? He's, uh, he's going to win with it. I believe you. I don't know why I believe you, but I do. You, you sound so convincing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. All right. Looks like Dustin is casting his. Oh what? Whoa! Draft All Star right here. Vampire Zeal. Hmm. I I didn't see this coming. Did you? Uh no, but I also think he kind of wasted it on the. I don't think he needed to play right there. Luke has double servant essence scatter. Harness Lightning, and I can't see what that last card is. Um, another Harness Lightning? Eh, I could be wrong. Glorybringer, maybe? Oh, baby. Yeah, oh, Glorybringer. Yep. Good old GB. Um, I mean, just get in there. Yeah. Like, you're the aggressor now. <sighs> Yeah. Oh, baby. You got a servant? Off. Yeah, you got to start off by playing a servant. I mean, he just wants to... Because right now, servant is safe from removal, I feel like, because of the long test cub. Yeah. And it's like, this pretty much enables a turn... His glory rigger next turn, for sure. Yeah. I think... Is Luke putting himself down to... Three, or is he putting himself down to five? I'm confused. Because he's pumping. I don't know. Uh, yeah. 
Okay. All right. He should be at seven if he only pumped that long tusk cub once. Math is hard, don't you know? It's a little bit hard. Yeah, I get it. I was there once. Oh, 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 oh! oh, oh they oh. spotted me. Unclaimed territory. Name vampire. Gonna play Sanctum Seeker, and Luke's gonna essence scatter it. Oh baby! You mean confiscation oh. cupid? No, he's gonna essence scatter. It. He didn't have confisc confiscation coup. It was an essence scatter that I saw. Here it is. Oh Here baby. it is. Wah, wah. Yes. I like how he just casually said he's like acid scatter. And he just sets it to the side. Go ahead and set that in the graveyard for me, please, sir. Thank you. All right. And Dustin, I don't think you're chum blocking, so, uh. Hmm. I don't know. He may have to chum block. He may. I mean, I don't think he knows about the glory bringer coming. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I think, uh. I think he's just going to lose to this glory bringer. Oh, yeah. Glory Ring is a house by itself. Yeah, and especially against these creature-based decks, it's really, really difficult to deal with. Unless you have something like Walk the Plank, and even then, they've gotten the value out of it. They've probably killed a creature and dealt you four. Just is what it is. I mean, I think I would play a five mana spell that deals four to a creature. Deals oh, yeah. four to a creature and deals four to face. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Luke's going to take two here. And let's see what he draws here. Burger Rogue Finder. Alright, to slam that glory bringer and take us to Pound Town. Yeah, he slams, let's see, he slams the glory bringer. Slams the glory bringer. I mean, he only has three energy then once he plays the glory bringer. But then he'll go up to five. Because it's like a cub will connect. Well, yeah, but I'm saying he can't just outright kill dust in this turn. I think there was there was some incorrect math though with his energy earlier. I can believe that because he was at five. Okay, apparently it's fixed. So I'll just let it be. Okay, it doesn't really matter. I don't think Dustin's gonna have an answer to this unless he cited in Bantu's Last Reckoning. Hey man, I believe it. I would. I think Luke. Is paying three when he only needs to pay two. So, like, yeah, he should be back at three if Long Test Cup connects. And, and it connects, and then he gets two more energy. Okay, there we go. Yeah. So right. this Glorybringer is lethal by himself. Yep. And, oh, yeah, there's, uh, one, there's one mana vampires have flying. Yep. I remember that. I sure do, and here's another Sanctum Seeker. Oh, baby. I don't think that's going to do that a lot. I... Really don't think it is either. Yeah, Dustin's probably just gonna scoop him up here in a second. Or he might make Luke play it out. Who knows? Yeah, you never know. Luke could fall out of his chair and die. I don't know. Well, let's not hope for that. But you're right. Let's hope that. Luke... But he could fall out, fall out, and pass out. And yeah. Due to lack of hydration or something. Yeah, you're right. But I don't think that's going to happen. All, All right. right. Uh, that'll be it. Uh, we'll be back here shortly for round three. Yeah, I think that was one of the last matches, so yep. be quick. Turn it quick, over. Quick tournament th this evening. Yep. See you guys in a second. All right.